Hey guys, Cody here, KIG Outdoors, and today we're back out here working on the boat. Now, I'm back out here, and I know what you're probably thinking, man, did I miss a video? How does he already have a deck on that? I didn't see him post that video. It's because I haven't posted it yet, guys. Uh, probably the last video that you all saw, I was actually putting the core system in and getting everything tied up to where I could get to this point. But, a couple days ago, um, when I put that video up, I started getting some comments. Like I had to ask you guys if y'all knew anything or had any comments, leave them down below. And uh, probably by the title, you already know what this little video is going to be about. So, in that video, I had a couple people start telling me, Hey man, you probably shouldn't use treated wood in your aluminum John boat. So, that one comment came along and I kind of read it and I was like, I wonder why he said that, you know. Um, I don't. I don't know I've never heard that before and then I got another one and then I got another one and then I got another comment and basically all of them says hey man don't use treated wood in your aluminum John boat it will eat the aluminum it'll pit it'll corrode and it's just not good to use an aluminum John boat well after I kind of did that research and I started you know just looking around on the old interweb, I realized I had made a big, big mistake. And uh, from everywhere I read, it said the same thing that you guys said. Do not use treated wood with aluminum, raw aluminum. So a week goes by, you know, I basically hung my head down. I'm, I'm devastated at this point. I've got a hundred, hundred fifty dollars worth of wood that uh, in a boat that I'm gonna have to come out here and just basically just rip all the wood out and start all over. So. I'm really disappointed you know it's kind of hard to want to work on something and realize that you made a, a, a mistake so before I come out here to make this video um, I stopped myself and I wanted to price the, you know each piece of wood uh, you know the 8 foot 10 foot the plywood all that treated wood that I bought and uh, I wanted to see how much money I had invested in it and I got curious and I'm sitting there reading and uh, I wanted to see what this wood was actually treated with. And so I went, went on down and found out that, uh, you know, I printed, I printed everything out right here. Just so that I know that I, I can get everything, you know, that I'm telling you everything right. In Lowe's, their pressure treated wood is called a severe weather uh, number two prime treated lumber. Now, uh, a lot of this stuff is just basic generic big box store uh, wood. Uh, just yellow pine, uh, the severe weather is for above ground and exterior wood. And you know guys, when I was building this, I was like, man, there's nothing better to use than treated wood. That's why I decided to go with it. You know, it's water resistant, bugs won't eat it, mildew won't grow on it. Man, why would you not use treated wood on aluminum? So, you know, and I really, I should have probably researched it a little bit better. But uh, anyway, this, this severe weather treated wood at Lowe's, is actually treated with a chemical called uh, Ecolife, E-L-2. And uh, this is actually a tag, and I'll show you up close of it. And what you'll see on this is not int intended for ground contact, but it is treated wood so it can be exposed outside and everything else. But if you'll notice down below, it says E-L-2. Now, that is what the chemical is actually, one of what it's treated with to make it all of those things, water resistant, um, uh, I think it's water resistant for up to three years. Uh, basically, bugs and mildew won't grow on it anyway. So I took that EL2, that Ecolife, and I typed it into Google. And lo and behold, the company that actually treats this wood has their own website. Now, I went on their website and I started emailing and talking back and forth. And they're like, yeah, dude, uh, you can use this with aluminum. And at that point, I was just kind of blowed away. I was like, do what? This is true. Are we talking about the same product here? So he's like, yeah, actually I got a brochure. And guys, I'll leave all the links and stuff. If you want to read it, you're more than welcome to. Don't don't take my word for it. Do your own research. But um, anyway, in the brochure, uh, it had some of the product features. You know, it's it's pro it's protected by, you know, a non-metallic, um, preserves wood, a stabilizing system, improves weathering performance, improves fastener performance, uh, can be used direct contact with aluminum, and provides long-term protection against decay and termites, uh, can be used uh, painted, stained, 
I mean, guys, when I seen this, I was you know, I was shocked because I'm telling you right now, everywhere I've looked, and then there's a hundred YouTube videos out there telling you not to use treated lumber with your aluminum John boat. But I'm here to change that. What I'm here is I'm telling you that this wood that you buy at the big box store. Now this is at Lowe's. I don't know about Home Depot. I will get into that here in a minute. But um, the Lowe's treated wood number two, uh, severe weather, you can actually use on aluminum. It says it in the brochure, guys. Don't take my word for it. Go on there and read it yourself. So to me, that is a game changer, guys. And to believe it or not, this was done by mistake. This was done by accident. I, at one point in time, did not know that you could not put treated wood on aluminum. And I was basically getting ready, you know, my tail tucked between my legs, rip all this out and just start all over and do all the priming and painting that I can do to try to seal just normal wood. So to me, this is a game changer, guys. This is something that I'm really excited. Um, one thing about it is though, guys, there probably is a chance that you could get the wrong wood, you know, but every piece of treated wood at Lowe's, and I even talked to a Lowe's, one of the higher up on the uh, ends of in Lowe's, and I actually had their conversation. I gave them direct part numbers, gave them plywood numbers, and I'll put that up here real quick, but I, I had a conversation with them online, and uh, you know, they're saying, yeah, it's safe to use with aluminum. Now, what I was talking about, all the big box stores. Now, Home Depot does, you know, have treated wood. I'm not saying, you know, anything bad about their treated wood, but they have the same product. I believe theirs is called a Weather Shield um, number two ground contact pressure treated wood. And that might be the difference, guys. If you're using ground product versus above ground, that might have a huge factor into. Um, whether or not you can actually use it on aluminum boats. Now, the reason that I say that, and I'm not, I'm not going to go in detail because I really didn't do that much research on Home Depot's um, uh, treated lumber. And the reason I didn't is because I didn't buy my product there. I don't even have a Home Depot. Like the last Home Depot around here closed, I don't know, 10 years ago. And the closest one is like 30 miles away. And, why would I go there when I can go 10 miles up the road and get uh, to Lowe's? So that's where I do all my shopping. And with the products they have and the research I've done, they 100%, as long as you get, like I said, the EL2 above ground treated lumber, and that's what, everything you see here is exactly what that is, it will work in your aluminum jumbo, guys. Now, if you start getting into the, the, ground, the ground contact pressure treated wood, you start running into what the actual, when you Google, can I use pressure treated wood in aluminum John boat um, on Google, you start seeing no, no, no. And uh, one of the main reasons for it is uh, it's basically a, a CCA formula and it was a, uh, a copper alzole chemical that uh, had a reaction with the aluminum and uh, you basically wanted to stay away from that product. And uh, at Home Depot, I did notice their weather shield is, uh, it, is it is treated with the uh, copper azo. And so, now that's the ground contact. I didn't look at the, the above ground, but you know, just for instance, I just wanted to show you that. Lowe's, I tried to find something that wasn't okay. Uh, you know, I didn't find anything. You know, maybe I wasn't looking in the right spot, but Home Depot, the first, the first thing I pull up, there it is. So there, there's different kinds of pressure treated wood out there, guys. And that's all I'm trying to say. Um, watch your woods. There are some pressure treated wood that you can use. And, uh, you know, if you're willing to pay the little bit of extra money and get that wood, then, hey, use it. And that's just kind of how I kind of got lucky and fell into that category. Because um, I'm going to be honest with you, I couldn't be happier right now that I can use this because I've already got this so much time and money invested in um, it just it just makes me happy that I don't have to start all over guys but I just wanted to come out and clarify this and where I, what has been going on on the build and as you can tell uh, we're a little bit farther along than the actual series is but that, that video is coming and I just wanted to kind of put this out because I, I'm telling you guys I probably got 10 comments saying don't use pressure treated wood 
And I want to tell each and every one of y'all, thank you for uh, commenting that and trying to tell me, you know, don't use that because I, I, was, I had no intentions of not using it. But uh, guys, I did some checking and it looks like it's going to be okay. Um, I do appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not telling anybody anything differently that, you know, use it or don't use it. That's your choice. I'm going to use it. I don't want to rip it back out. I actually, this uh, wood has almost been in there almost three weeks now. There's not been any pitting, any kind of corrosion, any kind of tarnish of the aluminum at all. Um, and it's been, there's a lot of areas that it's laying directly on it. So, um, guys, I don't see a problem with it. So keep that in mind. It's just another option, guys. It's just another option that you all can use when building these deck boats. You know, if you want to use it. If not, you don't trust it. Hey, by all means, use the other stuff, guys. I'm not telling you to, you know, change all the boat boat buildings out. You know, how you build your John boat deck. It's up to you guys. But I want to tell each and every one of y'all, thank you that have commented on me. And uh, guys, that's all I've got. Uh, next upcoming video, <laughs> I know this is kind of a tease, but the next upcoming video I actually tie the rails into the, the actual John boat and then we start doing some cutting and getting things laid out to where you see it right now. Uh, that video is in the works, but it, this one will probably take priority over it. And uh, guys, that's all I've got. If you all are new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you all keep up with the build. Um, I believe this is going to be part five. Or, yeah part four part five and uh we're gonna try to get this boat done by march that's when i'd like to have it done if not sooner who cares i really don't have no time frame um one thing i'm running into right now and you guys probably won't see this for a little while and i don't know how i'm gonna address it but i'm having trouble with the hinges um, i'm actually uh struggling with the how to make everything open correctly and just get everything laid out guys it's my first build so Guys, thank you all for watching. Hit that like, thumbs up button, and uh, share with share with all you guys that build boats and everything else, guys. Share this video, please, by all means. Um, guys, that's all I got. Peace.